Hey guys, welcome back to the B-Bunch family. Today I decided to try a peppermint mocha. Um, I'm gonna say it's a latte, right? Uh, stay on the bottom of there's a correction. And it, let's see how it tastes, see if it matches. This tastes a lot like how it's supposed to, very strong peppermint. Not as, not as strong as I thought it would be, but it's actually, it feels a lot lighter than previous year. So it is a definitely, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. What? Um, actually, I'm going to give it a 7. <gasps> I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. If you look at the picture right here, right? This is me recording it right before I, op right before I took a sip. Why am I missing whipped cream and, the, and those chocolate sprinkle things? Like if, if And if you look at the standard order... It says standard, like whipped cream and this chocolate sprinkles are standard. Why did I just pay for this? Dude, like, why is this fair? And also, while you're wondering, I got the hot version. Why? Well, because I made the mistake because it was almost 30 degrees when I left the house this morning. It is now 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And it, even though it says 55 degrees outside, it does not feel like 55 degrees, folks. It feels like springtime and it's December. So global warming at its finest. So for consistency, definitely it does it taste like a, a standard mocha, like coffee, a little bit strong, not too strong. All right, folks, if you're still watching, please subscribe. But so an uh, update to my current video. I noticed that I flipped the cap. They did give me some mocha chocolate sprinkle thing. If you look at that Bruh. little dot, I think they just put it on top and they put it on the bottom of the cup. I don't know if you can see that all the way at the bottom, right Bruh. there. So there are some chocolates. So I'll give you a seven and a half. But it looks kind of weird. Like this isn't like this is not as advertised. Starbucks. I don't know what's going on with you. I know things are hard. <laughs> Times are hard for everybody, but dang. Okay, and back to this. So. If I have to give this an uh, updated rating, I would definitely give it a 7.5 out of 10. You know, it's, uh, I did find some, you know, chocolate sprinkles in here or whatever that is. And it was interesting. It Not a bad peppermint taste. It was light. It was refreshing. But not too refreshing. It was not overpowering. So I think it's a definite plus. You should definitely give it a shot if you want to try it. Please like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for our vlog, the B-Bunch Vlogmas, where we're going to be having uh, different holiday meals and combinations drinks right stay tuned for our comparison video coming up soon where we compare a bunch of different holiday stuff i'll, I'll, I'll leave that as a surprise for you and other holiday videos for vlogmas like share subscribe peace out